Before you move on to the practical part of this course, let's review the main concepts of ThingsBoard, which you will use on the platform. Imagine any device that can produce and transmit telemetry data. It could be a simple temperature sensor that monitors a room temperature, or a more complex device that detects air quality by gathering values from different sensors. ThingsBoard supports devices that are connected to a network and able to collect and send time series data. This way, you can add digital copies of these or other similar devices to the platform. So here goes the next question. What is that time series data? In simple terms, it's the sensor readings that a device monitors over time. For example, temperature readings from the temperature sensor, or temperature, humidity, and CO2 levels from the air quality sensor. While each device may report different data, the way we store it on the platform stays the same. Devices send their time series data to the platform using various protocols such as HTTP, MQTT, CoOp, and many more. This data is registered as timestamped key value pairs. The timestamp, measured in milliseconds, shows when the device detected the reading. If the device doesn't provide timestamps, ThingsBoard will store the time it received the data. The key is always a string that refers to the indicator type such as temperature or humidity, while its value may be a string, integer, double, boolean or JSON. Now imagine that you want to specify some other information about your device, such as its model or firmware version. You can do this by adding custom attributes, which are stored in the platform's database. Attributes similar to time series data support the same data types, but they only store the latest value with its timestamp, not the history of changes. But in real life, not every physical object is a device. For example, buildings and offices don't transmit any data, but contain multiple devices. To represent this, you can use assets, digital twins of real-world places where your devices are located. But how do you keep track of which office corresponds to which building? Or how many devices are in each office? For this purpose, we have relations. A single relation links two entities and has a direction and type. For example, a building contains an office, while an office contains multiple devices. By using devices, assets, and relations, we can model complex systems of the physical world within the platform. You can process devices' incoming attributes and time series readings using a highly customizable rule engine. The rule engine handles validating and normalizing incoming data, raising alarms, and dispatching data to external systems. The notification system then alerts platform users about these alarms via email, SMS, or external messengers. To gain insights from this data, you can visualize attributes, time series data, and alarms on interactive dashboards that update in real time. ThingsBoard provides a library with hundreds of widgets that you may use for this. All entities we've discussed today are managed within the scope of a tenant. A tenant can be a manufacturer or integrator who onboards devices and shares their data with their customers. A single tenant can support thousands of customers, while a single platform installation can support tens of thousands of tenants. To bring everything together, let's summarize what we have discussed based on a real-life example of a smart office application. Imagine you work for an integrator company that provides smart office solutions for its customers. On ThingsBoard, your company is a tenant. You as a company employee are a tenant administrator. The tenant equips different building offices with smart devices. Each device collects and transmits time series data and has attributes such as its location. Then your customers use these devices in their offices to monitor various environmental conditions. To provide them with a real-life visualization of their smart office, you can create an interactive dashboard. There, you can visualize customers' offices, display devices and their telemetry readings, and establish relations between them. Once this is set up, you can add customer users to the platform and assign the corresponding entities to them. This allows you to manage all customers' entities from a single dashboard ensuring that they can only access their own devices and assets. In the next chapters, we will show you how to create this smart office dashboard. But for now, thanks for watching.
and see you in the next video.